What's up, everybody, and welcome to my channel. Yo, listen, if this is your first time here, do me a favor. Run on over which way? Yeah, that way. Run on over, y'all. Hit the subscribe button. After you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you are notified when each and every time that I upload a video. And then after that, come on back. If this is not your first time, you already know what it is. Welcome back, BFFs. Welcome back. And for those of y'all that said, what's the BFF? You'd have known that if you'd already been commenting, liking, and subscribing, and sharing, doing all the things. BFF stands for Boss Family and Friends. I'm everybody's favorite auntie. I'm Auntie Lottie. And before we get into this, <clears throat> we do what? Time, time for some action. Hey, time, time for some action. Hey, break it down. Time, time for some action. Hey, what's up, everybody? Day two of the new year. I got some real tips here from this place called I-57. I got some fries. Why do I have real tips of fries? Because me and my mother and daughter been out all day. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Today is the anniversary of my sinuses. Today is the anniversary of my grandmother's passing. And so, my mother has not gone to the cemetery. Like, we go, the grandkids and all this go, we go every year. Often, throughout the year. It's been difficult for them. This is her first time going in a long time. So, of course, I was happy that she wanted to go. We hung out, did some things, grabbed some food, and we're here. So look, y'all, get y'all a good old bite. Get y'all a good old bite. Mm. Listen. The fat is just as tender as the meat. <laughs> yep. It's been 21, 21 years today. And I know for a lot of people, 21 years is a long time. But when it's your mama, I imagine them 21 years sometimes feel like two days. One day. I'm grateful that I still have my mother, but I do know what it's like to lose a parent. Because my father is no longer with us. But anyway, I wasn't terribly sad today. I thought about it a lot. I had a good grandmother. I did. Now, both of my grandmothers were amazing women. But this particular grandmother, I was named after her. Y'all gonna close that door? I'm doing a video. I got bread over here, y'all, but I don't know if I'm going to eat it. It's so good and tender. I sprinkle, um, I normally try to sprinkle um, garlic on here, too, and I probably will. I'm going to need you to stop standing in my face, Ty. I'm doing a video. I watch. I'm trying not to make this video long. Before I get into what I'm going to talk about, did y'all know my memberships are up and running? They are. They are if you want to be a blessing to this channel. Become one of the members, y'all. Anywhere from, I think, uh, BF to Auntie's Favorites. Check it out, y'all. I'm able to be monetized in that way with superstars and when we do, you know, go live and then memberships. As easy as, um, the cheapest is um, $5.99. Ain't good. It's a little gristle on there. I'm gonna leave that to be. Um, I'm watching this series, y'all. It's the curious case of Natalie Grace. Curious case of Natalie Grace. This young lady. It's on Max. Y'all gotta watch this. It's very intriguing. It's puzzling. I'm downright sad. Puzzling and downright sad. If anybody's seen that, let me know in the comments if you've seen that. Um, the series is two seasons. <clears throat> the first season talks about how she got here. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. How she got here. I think she's going through the parents and all that. Second season, they only got uploaded two episodes. But there's definitely some more to come. You can tell about the way this second uh, episode ended. It's about this young lady. Her name is Natalie. 
She's originally from Ukraine. She's a dwarf. Dwarf. She has the uh, dwarfism. Uh, um, I want to pronounce. Uh, say it wrong, y'all. But she's a dwarf, and um, she had, had different surgeries and all that. But she came to America as a young girl. Was adopted by one family. Had to go to another and another and another. And there's a discrepancy about her age. The family that ended up with her, the Barnetts, they were the ones that, in my opinion, mistreated her. So much so that she ended up living on her own at about 10 or 11 years old. They put her in an apartment and all that. Because, y'all, you y'all really got to watch it. The, the couple had three kids, they had three boys they own. One of their sons, I believe it's one Jacob. He was autistic, but he's very smart, brilliant. She wrote a book about him. Um, he met the Pope, all this old kind of stuff. Got a lot of money off him. So she, the mother, I guess deemed herself able to make prodigies. So she got this little disabled girl, so she thought that she was supposed to turn up and show up. Things didn't go her way. So she had to find a way to make this girl, this child, be a villain. She made it out, the family made it out that she was trying to kill them. She's, the court actually decided that she wasn't her age and they made her 22. The mother forced her rehearse to say she was 22. Y'all. Yeah, um, <laughs> and all along, the lady is beating on her, and the husband is allowing it to happen because he's claiming that first he's going along with her stories, going along with the wife's stories. Now they didn't fell out. Now he didn't tell the truth. Yes, the mom was beating her. He didn't beat her, but he didn't stop it either. He didn't stop it either. He finally, he finally got somebody, like people were saying, when she was living on her own, she was annoying. She would always come to their place. She wanted to, she wanted to hang out because she was still a damn kid. Doing what kids do. If they was forcing her because she had pubic hair. Um, she was supposed to be six when they got her, six or seven. Nowhere where she should have had pubic hair at this age and blah, blah, blah. These people, y'all. At one point, though, you are thinking like, what well, is this girl grown? And how in the hell did the course? Because the doctor said that because she hadn't grew in a certain amount of time, you know, up until 18, you don't, <clears throat> you don't grow. So since she hadn't grown since they had her, she must have been 18 already. So he deemed her 22 because 22 at 21, technically they didn't have to be responsible for her anymore. So if they get her to be 22, whatever they did or didn't do, it didn't matter. They wouldn't let none of that in the court case. When they really did find out her age, they went all the way over to Ukraine and talked to the birth mama. I'm telling you, I know I seem like I'm all over the place with this conversation because this, this, like this child's life, it's really all over the place. Come to find out she was on Dr. Phil. Um, they had to go to court. I'm not going to tell y'all the outcome of the case. It's just um, heartbreaking, really. <clears throat> heartbreaking. You just don't do people like that. God is not pleased with none of that. I mean, she had families that was going to love her. Generally, she had people, um, like people from the Little People of America. There's an organization. They were trying to place her with people. And for whatever reason, the original um, adoption people just snatched back and said, no. Yes, they had too many questions. I don't know. All I know is she could have ended up with love. And she, she eventually got some people that really did love her. But for a few years, 
she was treated like sugar, honey, iced tea. Just S-H-I-T. It's like, gosh, we live in such a cruel world. Well, maybe not such a cruel world. We just got cruel people in this world. Y'all know, honestly, I was going to sit to my table and just eat this. We have another video. Uh, it's been a long day, you know. But I'm like, well, y'all my family anyway. Let's eat together. And I got more ribs in this, um, in my container over here. It's the only time I really like sauce on my ribs when I'm out from the restaurant. If I cook them at home, I don't need no sauce. So how has New Year's been for y'all so far? How has the new year been for y'all so far? That's what I should say. How's the new year? Because maybe it'll be bothering me when people say, Happy New Year's. Mm -mm. Mm. It's New Year's Eve. And then Happy New Year. Mm. And I know people don't mean, they mean well. It's just my petty. I don't correct them though. I just say it back the right way. Did y'all make resolutions? Are you sticking to them so far? That's probably going to be tomorrow's video. Yep. I ain't even going to get into that. I'm going to eat this last bite. And we're going to get off camera. I'm going to finish eating. It's good. That, that, you almost would hope it was just a movie, y'all, and not somebody's real life. It is somebody's real life. Even talking to them, talking to the birth mother, she said she was, um, I think her early 20s. She already had a baby. I guess they were poor, or whatever. And she came out as a dwarf, with already gonna have medical issues. The doctors convinced her that she'd be better off letting her go. She didn't have the means to take care of it. She might as well let her go, which lets me believe that sometimes the doctors is in on all this money, kickback schemes, and all that stuff. I'm not saying that doctor was, but some, it's just him. His thing was, you're not going to be able to care for her. You might as well just let her go. It made her believe that she was going to have a golden life. Well, she did. She didn't. By the time she got with the Barnett's, excuse me, y'all. The person that be tab sapping my first. What was it? Which what what was that? Thirteen something. <laughs> they did her wrong. I watched it all through the middle of the night. It was I was coughing so bad, I had a little slight cold. I mean, you know, if you cough now, everybody thinks you got COVID. I'm like, y'all do know before COVID, we had people had the flu, regular common colds, sinus, all that. And so I was just up. I nodded off like one time. I woke back up and started it over what I missed. And it's so disturbing. It's just evil out here. I want y'all to watch it and so y'all can be like, oh, I see why auntie all over the place with this conversation.
All right, y'all. Let me go to drink. I pray the peace of God be upon you and your family. I pray that no hurt, harm, or danger will come through to you all. I pray that whenever you have the opportunity to be kind, be gentle, be nice with somebody, you take it. It ain't gonna hurt you. I pray that we walk out our purpose running fast for the Lord, running fast for us, running fast for our family, all for God's glory and our benefit. In Jesus' name, whatever God makes you a better person. Amen, amen, amen. And on that note, it's a what? It's a wrap. See y'all in the next video.